Okay, Branson, so in the last video, we basically just went over why you need the, the list matching and, and plain weight methods to be in the music organizer. Because it's in the music organizer, it's the music organizer that stores the files array list. Okay, so, um, and let's see, exercise 425 asks you to add the list matching method to your version of the project which was, you know, just adding this code, which you did, uh, you know, but we just needed to move it, instead of putting it to the music player class, we needed to put it in the music organizer class. Um, and then the next um, problem, the challenge exercise says, in list matching, can you find a way to print a message once the for each loop is finished? if no file names match the search string. And it says, hint, use a Boolean local variable. So we need a Boolean local variable. And um, basically, we're going to um, print a message if no file names match the search string. So we want a Boolean um, that's going to tell us if there was no match. So. We'll say boolean no match, and in the end, what we want is um, it says if no file names match the search string, we want to print a message, right? So if no match, so if no match turns out to be true, um, that's when we want to system dot out dot print when uh, um, let's say no file names matched the search string or matched actually we could just say matched plus search string right that way we can actually name the search string. Okay, so um, how are we going to do this? Well, um, one way to think about this, maybe the first thing to think about is what is our, our default, basically our fallback position? Like, like what, what do we want to do? Well, we know if we loop through here and we do and we find a match then we're going to set no match to be false right if there is a match so in here if there if there is a match we're going to set no match to be false okay so our fallback then is um so we know no match can be either true or false, right? We know we're going to set it to be false if we find it. So to set ourselves up, before we even go into the search, if we say no match equals true to begin with, we start out assuming that there's no match. And then we, we go through the array list, we go through our for each loop, and if we find a match, then we set no match to be false. Okay, and so we're going to print the um, the file name for any file that matches, and set no match to be false. Now notice nowhere in this loop do we set no match to be true. Okay, because why? Well, what we want to do is we could have a case in here, right, where um, we found a match and then the next file name we look at doesn't match, well, we're not going to, like, set no match back to true or anything like that, right? So we, we only care if, if one or more did match. So we only want to change no match in here if we did find a match. And, and this way we can start at the beginning assuming no match and then go through and say, well, if there was a match, then uh, we're good, right? 
So let's compile that. And let's see. Let me see if the what I have for my music organizer test. Um, oh, okay. I was calling this place samples by, but what do we got here? We have play and wait. You're calling yours, right? So I'll say copy. This way you can use this uh, uh, test class yourself. Paste. Oops. Testing play and wait. So instead of play samples by. Okay, see if that compiles, yeah. So now let's test the uh, list matching, because that's something we just made. Okay, it looks good. So the way the test looks, I think I might have gone over this with you before, but um, the way that the test matching um, method works is that we, you know, add all these uh, test audios and then we try them all out. So we know that for Big Bill Brunzi uh, we should get exactly this one match which we do and we know that for Blind Lemon Jefferson we should get these two matches which we do and for Bruce Springsteen we shouldn't get any matches and we don't. Okay. So, so that um, tests out. And um, again, just in case if I, I didn't uh, give you this information before, the um, music organizer test, uh, just in general, the, the, the unit testing stuff is at, uh, let's see, Java Honors, um, I think it's in the unit four pages. So if you look at this video right here, Introduction to Using the Testing Tools. Okay, this goes over the testing tools. Really valuable stuff, good to know. Okay. Um, all right, so, um, so that is um, exercise 426. And then in the next video, we'll take a look at 427.